I think this is one of the greatest innovations in modern power tools. So I'm setting up the new shop space and I wanted a new miter saw to start things off right. So I picked the Bosch GCM 12SD. I first read about this saw in fine home building five years ago and I've been dreaming about having one ever since. I actually reached out to Bosch to see if they would give me one and they never even responded. Which just goes to show that even if you have a large YouTube channel, it's no guarantee that you're going to get free power tools. But despite that fact, I still went out and bought one on my own because I finally just had to have one. It's the tool that revolutionized the miter saw industry. And it did this by incorporating an incredible feature that no other company has managed to pull off since. So today I'm going to show you what that feature is and why it's so ingenious. And that's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. So I tend to anchor my shop around the miter saw. And I do this because I see the miter saw as the least mobile tool. I like my saw to have a long table or bed that I can easily lay stock on, cut it in one quick pass, and carry the pieces away. Other tools may roll around for a better angle, but in my shop, I keep my miter saw stationary. For that reason, I want it against a long wall where it's out of the way. But this has always brought up a very big problem because miter saws take up a huge amount of space. Virtually every miter saw with a deep cut capacity has relied on the rail system for support. The motor and blade mount on double rails, which allow it to slide forward and backwards to complete a deep cut. Saws that don't slide have a very short cut depth, often just several inches. This hurts you in a shop or on the job site because it means that you're going to have to pull out the circular saw for any cut wider than that. A sliding compound saw gives you that deeper reach, which saves you a lot of hassle. But it brings up an even bigger hassle. These saws traditionally just won't fit anywhere because the rails need a ton of space behind the saw. For years I used this DeWalt 708, which was a great saw. But to mount it in the shop, I needed a table that was 3 feet deep. That table stuck 36 inches out into the room, not because I wanted it to, but because the saw required it. That's eating up a lot of floor space in your shop, and it's all because the saw needs all that backswing, the space behind it, to operate. On top of that, the rail system is prone to rail deterioration. It gets gunked up with sawdust, doesn't operate as well over time, and sometimes the bearings inside need to be serviced. In the new space, I wanted something more efficient, and that led me to the Bosch GCM12. Bosch eliminated the backswing problem when they created the glide system. Instead of sliding rails, the glide utilizes this crazy terminator arm. It's an aluminum axial system where two pivotal arms work in unison to bring the motor and the blade forward and backwards. And it does this with sealed bearings that aren't exposed to sawdust and gunk. Not only is this system insanely smooth and functional, it has no backswing whatsoever. You can put the saw nearly flat up against a wall and it'll do its job. In fact, it'll do it a lot better than other saws because it actually has a deeper cut span. The blade on the glide reaches almost 14 inches horizontally. That's an inch and a half more than my DeWalt could get. And it can smoothly cut stock six and a half inches vertical, like tall baseboard. This lack of backswing saves me more than a foot of shop space. From the front of the base to the rear of the tool is barely 19 inches. A 24 inch table will give me more than enough clearance. Also, the bevel adjustment on this tool is far easier. You used to have to reach behind the miter saw to loosen the bevel lock. The Bosch bevel lock is on the front and lets you quickly tilt the tool in either direction. It has all the usual miter detents and swings easily for adjustments. And as far as I know, it's the only saw to have pull-out table extensions that are really easy to use. Since mine will sit on a fixed table, I probably won't use them that often. But they're handy to have in case I travel with the saw in the future. I'm still experimenting with it, but the 15 amp motor is actually stronger than the 13 amp on my old DeWalt. Even with the stock blade, it'll have no problems with anything I give it. And it's just hard to explain how smooth the thing is. The blade and motor feel extremely light. No matter what kind of cut you're doing, miter, bevel, or compound, it really does just glide. It's awesome, and I can't wait to use it more as the shop build-out goes along. But I will note a few drawbacks real quick, because there are always drawbacks. One, it's big and heavy. The thing is all painted steel and aluminum with a big motor. You feel that in weight, and you'll probably need two people to move it. And two, it costs a fortune. You can get a 12 inch on Amazon for about 650 or 700. That's a big markup from the 12 inch DeWalt slider, which runs about 400 or 450. I finally sprang for it though, because I just couldn't help myself after all these years of wanting one. I can't wait to get it mounted into the new table, which will probably sit somewhere along that far wall, probably in that door alcove right there. 
That's coming up soon, but I wanted to show it now and talk about it a little bit because I knew people were gonna be asking about it when they saw it in the new videos. So this is it, the Bosch GCM 12 SD. I'll link it below in case anyone is interested. And remember that when you shop through these links, we get a tiny commission from whatever you purchase at no extra charge to you. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back in for more videos coming up soon. And please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.